So this was a, another program working with an athlete who had a foot injury. Um, and the practical challenge that our athletic trainer had was that the coaches wanted this athlete back now. They needed him for this week of football and the athletic trainer knew that he wasn't ready. And so on the left, we've got our GPS data. So we've got our player load and our um, player load per minute across those training weeks. Uh, and then you've got his maximum velocity those weeks. So we use that GPS data in association. You can see the impact load data on the right where that data is from week nine, 10 and 11. And so you can see just how he was not ready in week nine to get, to get on with it. Uh, week 10, he was close, but definitely still not loading his legs, his limbs evenly. And then that week 11, just as his velocity is increasing and maximum velocity is increasing as well, you can see that that lower limb impacts, uh, that lower limb impact is uh, much more even. And I think the important thing here was that without that data, all the only thing he had to, I guess, argue his case with was, I just, I know he's not ready. And there's only so long that you can use that as a, I guess, as a coping, as a, as a justification for what you're doing. I know this is, I know that he's not ready. Well, how not ready? Well, I, he's just not quite ready. But we've now got this data which says, look, here it is, he's not ready. And it just stops the conversation there and it stops the heated nature of the conversation between uh, coaches and support staff. And I think it just, it just gives clarity to everybody as to what's going on. And it also allows you to build a much more, I guess, uh, clear process as to how you're going to, how, how far away you are.